coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next SDL 2.0 tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be talking about the mouse a uh, the mouse event. And uh, and it's it's very simple, uh, just like the, the keyboard event. So let's get right into it. So we already have our images loaded like in the last tutorial and if you don't have the source code for that just check my github or my website and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay else if ev dot type and we have sdl mouse button down and we have mouse button up and we also have mouse motion which is uh, to check if the mouse is moved so uh, let's let's uh, let's check out mouse button down right now and we're gonna say okay switch uh well you know what forget about it so let's just check out some different things we can do so we can say button and button so we can check to see if it's equal to sdl button and we have a bunch of different buttons we have so we have the left button so we can check if we oh man sdl button left so we can check if the mouse button the left mouse button is pressed and we'll set that to image one and we could say else if button uh, the button that you pressed is equal to SDL button right then you do something so we'll say current image is equal to image dot two and what I'll put here is I'll say I I have the razor or boris I think that's what it's called uh, so I have some extra buttons so if you have if you have some extra buttons then they have something they have x1 and x2 so I'll, I'll do my extra button uh, one of my extra buttons and if I press one of those extra buttons we are going to see the third image and so let's run this program So uh, as you can see, I'm pressing the left mouse button. Obviously, this is first image. You're not going to see anything different. Press the right mouse button. We see the second image, and press the extra button. We see the third image, and back and forth. So uh, that's if the mouse button down, and then we can check to see if the mouse button up. So that's when we press the button, and then we release it. So right now, I'm holding down the, for the second image. Let go, and then we see that I'm holding it down for the third one. And then you see it uh, like so. We can also check to see uh, a, a cool um, a cool thing we can do is we can check to see um, uh, how many clicks uh, the user made. So we can say okay, uh, ev dot button dot click. So we can check to see if like they double clicked. So if you want them to double click something and something happens, we'll say if they double click, we'll change it to image number two. And so um, let's run this. And so it checks for double clicks within a reasonable amount of time. So if I click it once, then I wait too long, and I click again, it doesn't register as a double click. If I click it, then click again, it doesn't register sometimes like that. But sometimes you gotta press it in a reasonable amount of time for the double clicks to actually show up. But it's a cool little convenient feature. <coughs> sorry that the event system actually has um, so if we check for the button as well um, we can check for the X and Y position of the button uh, we can check the clicks we can check which button it is we can check the state whether it was pressed or if it was released um, we could check if it's the type if it was if you want to check for different types of events you can say if it was the button down or SDL mouse button up and if you want to specify to check which type it was you can check which um, type it was with this as well and um, so yeah so let's check out the mouse moved so let's say mouse I think it's mouse move is that it sorry mouse motion sorry um, I was thinking about that from SFML so we can uh, we can I guess we can check to see okay when the mouse button moves um, uh, we'll just display uh, based on where the X position okay we'll say okay 
if ev dot button dot x is is less than 200 then we'll say current image is equal to 1 else if ev dot button dot x is uh, less than 400 we'll say current image equal to image 2 else current image equal to image 3 and so so every single time we move our mouse, it activates the mouse move event. So we moved it, and then we, it took our new position, and then we move it, and it checks our next position after. So um, those are how to handle the mouse, and uh, to handle the mouse in SDL, to handle mouse-based events. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next tutorial. So bye for now.